this video we're gonna create a paper cup. Make sure you subscribe to Art Style Studio for more. And now let's get the rectangle from the rectangle tool and double click and make sure you have 250 by 600. Press OK. And with the selection tool, let's move it somewhere in the middle. And let's get the direct selection tool and edit the corners. Let's move this one to minus 50 and the other one to 50. And now let's select it and just zoom in and hold alt and copy somewhere here. And let's get the circle tool and create a circle here touching the edge. And let's get the rectangle tool again. And from the center, let's create a rectangle. And now let's get the pen tool and create a line here. And now let's select everything. And now let's get the shape builder tool and hold alt to get the minus sign and let's remove the excess. And now let's zoom in on this area here and let's select it and get the shape builder tool and let's remove these lines here. And now select everything and go to object, path, join. And now it's one object. And now let's get the rectangle tool and from the anchor here, create a rectangle to the left edge and get the selection tool and make it smaller and slim. And let's zoom in and create a rectangle here and a rectangle here. And with the selection tool, let's click on this rectangle and move it slightly to the right and this one to the left. And let's get the direct selection tool and edit the corners of the first one and edit the corners of the second one. And let's select everything and let's get the shape builder tool and remove this corner here. And now select everything again and go to window pathfinder and click on unite. And after that, let's go to object path offset path and put it on minus four and four press OK and with the direct selection tool let's edit this anchor here and pull it down and let's edit this corner here and and move it to the right and let's select everything and get the shape builder tool again and remove all these lines And now let's select everything and go to object, path and join. And now it's one object and let's zoom in and hold control and let's round the corners except for these two corners here, hold control and just put them back. And this one, let's pull it down and this one, let's a little bit make it rounded as well. And I think we need to round this corner here as well. And this corner on the right. And I think that's it. It looks good. And now let's color them gray. Make sure you're coloring the stroke. So put that on gray. And also this one with the eyedropper, put it on gray. And let's select the bottom part and let's go to effect 3D materials, 3D classic and revolve and put it on right edge and now you have a cup and now let's select the top part and do the same go to effect 3d and materials 3d classic revolve and put it on right edge again and press ok and make sure you put the stroke on white press ok and let's pull it down so it touches the bottom part and this looks good. And now we need to put this image on top on the bottom part here. So let's select the image and go to window symbols and click on the plus sign here, which is a new symbol and let's name it graphic one, press okay 
and now it's located in the symbols panel and now let's select the bottom part and go to window appearance and click on the revolve and let's move the panel slightly to the right and click on map art and let's change the surface so we can see the bottom part I think it's four and from the symbols here just put graphic one and move it until you find the soda and make sure you click on shade artwork so you can see the lighting and now let's go to the other surface which is on the top I think it's seven and from the symbol put it graphic one as well and move it so they touch each other I think this looks good press OK now go back to map art surface 4 and press OK so we can edit the lighting of surface 4 so let's have the circle here and add a new circle from the plus sign and move it to the right and click on the first circle and let's change the light intensity put it at 39 light ambient put it at 46 intensity 21 and put this 100 and this looks fine and now let's click on the other circle and maybe let's change the intensity to 80 and press ok and now we need to create the straw so let's get the rectangle tool double click and put it 10 by 400 press ok and now let's select it and go to effect 3d materials 3d revolve and now put it on right edge press ok and now let's move it so it positions well and now let's go to the appearance panel and click on revolve and let's just change the rotation so it looks good 67 or maybe minus 67 124 press ok and just move it and now we need to remove the bottom part so let's get the ellipse and create an ellipse here and let's remove the stroke and now with the pen tool let's create a shape here touching the edges of the circle and now let's select both shapes and get the shape builder tool and with the plus sign connect them and now let's select the shape and the straw and right click make clipping mask and now the bottom part disappeared and now we need to add this image here to the straw so again we need to add it to symbols so select it and go to window symbols and click on the plus sign and let's name it straw graphics and press ok and you have it here in the symbols panel so now let's double click on the straw and go to the revolve in the appearance panel and map art and change the surface to the correct one and from the symbol here just put straw and click scale to fit and click on shade artwork press ok and now we need to edit the light so let's go to the ambient light and put it about 69 the intensity about 100 and this is 102 and maybe let's decrease the ambient light put it about 63 this is good press ok and we're done here and now let's create a rectangle change the color to red and let's create a big rectangle here and let's right click arrange send back and now let's lock it and get the pen tool and let's create a shadow and let's color it black and let's go to effect blur gaussian blur and put it 66 press ok and let's send it behind the soda paper cup and put the opacity about 58 or 44 and that's it thank you so much for watching